I'm standing next to one of the best restorations I've ever seen in my life. This 1963 Chevy Impala Sport Coupe has undergone a body off frame rotisserie, every nut and bolt restoration. It looks like it was done 10 minutes ago. Underneath this car, you could lick it. It's that clean. Every nook and cranny, nut, bolt, clip, you name it, anywhere you look, it looks brand new, not even dusty. Under the hood is a 454 motor. It's got a turbo 400. It's got vintage air, four-wheel disc brakes. This thing is amazing. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can look at all the pictures, top to bottom. You can read the information. And that is where you'll find a price tag along with a monthly finance option. That's on every car we have for sale with as little as 10% down and the banks will go 12, 13 years on most of the cars we have. For right now, join me, let's go for a spin. Okay, so we have photos, I have some of the photos posted on our website. We have a photo album of this car taken to a bare shell. Imagine just a bare body, nothing in it, every panel removed, and it was on a rotisserie, which means they can flip it over. And the reason for that is so they can really do the underside nice. You don't have to lay on your back or crawl around. So the underbody, the metal, is pristine. There's no uh, visible patches, all the braces, all the, the filler plugs, all the spot welds are pristine, clean metal. They painted it in a red oxide primer. That's how it would have left the factory. But then they clear coated over it to make it nice and shiny and durable. Every single component in the chassis looks brand new. The frame is all smooth and all the components are clean, smooth metal, painted a semi-gloss black. Uh, steering and suspension completely new and rebuilt. And I mean, not right down to the nuts, the bolts, the cotter pins, everything is new. Up front is upgraded with some coilover, adjustable gas shocks, a little heavier uh, duty sway bar. Uh, in back, it has gas shocks, a Ride Tech pan hard bar. They got the stance real nice on the car, too. Brakes, four wheel disc brakes. The entire brake system's new. The lines, the hoses, e brake assembly, all new, new, new. Uh, real nice exhaust system. These have an X frame, and they bent the exhaust right along the frame, very neatly installed. All new fuel system. The fuel tank is even polished. It's shiny like chrome. Um, you look up at the motor, it's still immaculate Chevy orange. All the components look new. The fuel pump, uh, high, high torque starter. It is a turbo 400 automatic transmission. And again, it looks brand new and any, anything attached to it looks brand new. New drive shaft, rear end was all apart, rebuilt, detailed. Uh, so under this car, it's like a model car. It's just every, every single piece is brand new. The body's amazing. I guarantee it did not look this good in 1963 when it came off the assembly line. It is laser beam straight. Now these have these body lines here. That's like supposed to give it the look of a convertible. That's where your top bows would be on a convertible. Um, and this is all pristine. The gaps are right on the money, square and flush absolutely straight there's no rust there's no damage there's no funny areas all of this is smooth and slick even to the touch everything lines up nice no rust no damage no dents uh, no no shrinkage no body work showing no cracking nothing that i could find anyway and i've been looking at it pretty hard before we even started filming uh, repainted its original color. I think they call it Riverside Red in 63. Uh, but you can refer to the website. Uh, but it is a uh, uh, glass finish. This, this did not look this good in 63. This is just polished like glass. Everything lines up real nice. <clears throat> I purposely rolled the windows up on this side. It's all new glass. You can see how nice it fits. We're going to see if it passes the J test here. I already know it does, and how nice it closes, even with the windows up. I'm just going to let it go. That shut's like brand new. It takes a lot of time and effort to get everything to fit so perfect like that. Now, the chrome and stainless, all of it is just sparkling. This is just beautiful. It has bow tie mirrors on each side, even the window frames. 
Every piece of trim looks new, show quality, rear mount antenna, the emblem. Now they did not make it an SS. It, it's, it's an Impala Sport Coupe and they left it as that. We recently posted a 67 Malibu and everyone in the comments said they loved that they just left it a Malibu and didn't try and make it something it's not. Uh, back here, the silver metallic tail panel, all the tail lights, all the trim, the chrome, all looks like new. Gas cap is shiny. It's sitting on some 18 inch US mag wheels, extra wide in back. They got Nitto performance tires. Every piece of uh, seal and weather strip, all the little fuzzy seals here, the rubber around the vent windows, all of it is replaced. Even the wiper arms are shiny. And of course, everything up front, all shiny and pretty. They put T3 headlights. Those are reproduction headlights of the original. Actually, it's got three of them. That's a, a different headlight there. So amazing, amazing car. Got a lot more good stuff to show you. Let's check it out. All right, let's look inside the trunk. Okay, so under the trunk lids, all painted nice in the jam, slick as can be. The weather strip is replaced. The wiring throughout the whole car is new. The trunk compartment has the gray and white spatter finish, neatly done. Uh, might even have a clear coat over it. It kind of seems like it does. You got the mat, the matching tire cover over a spare, restored jack. So this is clean and like brand new. A restoration like this would absolutely cost 125 grand these days, maybe more. It sounds hard to believe, but yes, that's what this level of work costs. Actually, probably closer to 150. Uh, door jams, uh, check them out. They're polished, all the hardware, the rubber, all like new. Door panels, absolutely pristine. The armrests, the window cranks, the handles, door locks, all of that like new. Even up by the hinges, it's all shiny. I found one flaw in the car. The paint is chipped here and here. So maybe when they were putting this back together, they scratched it. It's painted like glass. Uh, the dash, the instruments factory tachometer uh, all of this is beautiful all the trim is sparkling this is a retro stereo it looks like the original that's a newer stereo just look how pretty everything is and all painted uh, factory type ac vents and, and working lights so we got sound deadener on the floor new carpet that fits real nice reproduction mats and everything sparkles the this uh, steering column Seats are all rebuilt. They're nice and plump. They're full. They're like they're supposed to be. The original fabrics. Uh, you got the buttons. We got red seat belts. In back, it's all restored the same. All uh, the upholstery, the side panels, the headliner. <clears throat> it's a red headliner with stars embossed in it. You got working interior lights, matching visors. The mirror looks new. So we have an outstanding interior. So I was saying you have 125 to 150 thousand dollar restoration. Plus you got to buy the car to start with. You know you'll have 150 to 175 thousand dollars in a duplicating this car, and it won't be done for a couple of years. This one's done, ready to go for a lot less money. So that is a 454 engine. A little hotter cam. It's got an aluminum intake with uh, square port heads. Uh, and you can see it's just spotless. There's not even uh, engine oil or debris seeping out anywhere. All sparkling. Uh, it has some sort of billet uh, flamethrower distributor. The firewall is painted as nice as the car. Some really nice coated headers hiding down there. Vintage air system with a polished compressor. The battery's all bolted down properly. Spring clamp cables. Everything's run neatly. It's a big aluminum radiator. The correct shroud. New clutch fan. Got these premium uh, hose clamps over the uh, GM hoses. Of course, new alternator. All modernized power steering with the remote reservoir. Upgraded steering box. 
upgraded power brakes with the dual reservoir, all new wiring. I mean, again, just look how immaculate. We get really nicely restored cars, but this is immaculate. looks the part and feels the part. It feels like brand new. Every one of our cars does get inspected. Uh, we greased a few things. We charged the air conditioning system. So it's turnkey, ready to roll. So if you're very particular, you're one of those people just want something immaculate this is about as close to perfection as you'll find. This is worthy of being parked right in your living room. It's that nice of a car. I would also not be afraid to drive it. I've always been a believer in that. The car runs and drives and feels fantastic with that big block and big tires under the back end. It's a muscle car sitting here. Anyway, go to volocars.com. The salesman can help answer any questions you still have, they can help you with financing and getting this delivered to your door at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified when the next video is posted. Thanks for watching.